Me and my room, I'm all alone Put on your shirt and get in bed Want so bad to get my phone And call you up right now to say That I miss you What's up, ladies? So it's your girl April, and I'm back to do another wig by this fabulous company called Lou Hair. So they do send a cute black box, a stocking cap, and the wig. This is a 16 inch blueless full lace unit, Brazilian curly or deep wave. And guess what? The name of this unit is April. Now, no, it's not named after me, it's already named that on the website. So when I seen it, I definitely had to get it because, you know, okay, your girl's name is April, you know. So I went ahead and cut the lace off, but it has the combs in the front and also has the combs in the nape area. Of course, I did bleach the knots in the unit prior to the video and I also did pre-tweeze it, but I did bleach it a little bit too much in one area, so it is like a tiny, 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 tiny bit of a little blonde spot, but you can't see it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make this wig fit perfectly to my hair. So I'm just going to take my clips right here, and I'm just going to hold my hair back, and then I'm going to just pull out a little bit of hairs just so that I can make some baby hairs. So like I said, it is... 14, 16 inches and if I can remember correctly it's 100 and 150% density. It is a glueless full lace wig cap and adjustable strap in the nape along with the comb in the front and in the back. Along with that it's a natural color um, and yeah basically that's about it. So this tiny little piece of lace that I'm cutting off that you can barely see does count a lot like even if it's the tiniest little bit it will allow your lace wig to lay flat to your head the littlest piece of lace will make the biggest difference because for one it's sitting right against your ear so you always want to make sure that it fits properly and if you like baby hairs like i do you can go ahead and get yourself an eyebrow trimmer and just cut you some baby hairs in the unit now i am cutting away the excess lace in the front because there was a little bit left and i really try to customize the wig cap to just look like it's mine you know i don't want it like a moon shape so i do put a little bit of extra dips and curves in it and just to mimic my own hairline and you guys already know about this infamous uh, styling mousse that I use from the Dollar Tree it's only a dollar the company is called Salon Selective they've been around for like the longest and how I know this is my mom told me about it she used to use it back in the day and it was a really popular brand so it is sold at the Dollar Tree for a dollar um, and I love it I absolutely use it to just place down and trim and sculpt my baby hairs so that is what I'm doing and I'm also going to be rubbing it towards the back now I know this is not the infamous green sculpting brush um, I actually did use it to that particular day when I did a prior video but I don't know why I picked up the orange one but in all honesty the orange one was actually the first sculpting brush that I've ever had so you know the orange brush has been around for like a long time so you know we're just going to take the orange brush and we're take some of that mousse that is on the back of my hand and we're just going to brush the hairs down and we're also going to brush some of that mousse towards the back now I don't really put a lot of baby hairs in the frontal area because I just try to make it look natural sometimes I'll brush it up depending on just how I feel but you always want to make sure that you have the right amount of lace cut away so I did cut off a little bit extra because it just wasn't even or just it wasn't to my liking so that is the reason why I went ahead and cut some more hairs in the front now for one this hair is extra soft or not really really soft but it's extra curly is what I meant to say these are tight curls um, they're not kinky curly it's more or less like a very deep curly unit and it's very full it's 16 inches it's beautiful um, I was happy that even though I just a little bit over bleach in one area that the hair didn't come out like that it stayed soft and it was just an amazing job now you guys already know how I do with the blow dryer I just blow dry the heck out of the hairline in the front so that way it will allow the mousse and the pump it up hairspray that I did put in the unit I can't remember if I left that out of the video but um, because I might have edited it out by accident but it does allow that wig to just or any wig that I apply sit properly on my head so from the bleaching this is just like the perfect wig and as you guys can see it's very full but I do want to show you what the parting looks like in it after I went ahead and bleached it like super duper nice like hey it looks very very natural 
it didn't take anything away from the curl panner pattern which is a plus and the hair is still nice and curly now like I said it is 16 inches the other day at 14 inch so you know this is really pretty full summer hair I love like how curly it is it's very curly you can do an amazing different styles with this particular hair so this for today I'm going to show you just something different because you know most of the time we wear it down like this but I'm just going to wet it a little bit more or saturate it and dampen it and I'm just going to use my water and conditioner the conditioner that I have in here is actually the Dove conditioner and I'm just going to use that so that way it will saturate the hair and then I'll be able to pull it up in a high ponytail and that'll be the first style that I'm going to show you so you want to take your actual water with conditioner in it. I wouldn't just advise you just straight water. Just put some conditioner in it so that the hair doesn't dry out. You just want to spray it and just kind of like gather your hair with your fingers. You know, you can easily like break your fingers through your hair as you see me doing right here. And just go back and forth with the water bottle. So that way it loosens the curls and they're not so tight. So that way your wig doesn't look so bulky and wiggish like on the top. So I'm just going to pull down just like a few little bit of hair just to make it look you know cute and I'm just going to go back again with the actual water and just finger comb it with my fingers and you could use a brush if you want to but for me using my fingers is a lot easier plus it allows me to be extra careful with the wig so that way I'm not tugging on it too much with like my styling tools which is my brush or comb so I really prefer to use my fingers especially when it comes to a curly unit so this is how I put it in a high ponytail and this is a high bun um, I do apologize I did not know that my memory card died on me or just actually um, was full and I thought I was still recording so that way you guys can see me put it in the high low bun but you know the gist of it is super easy and simple and the hair came out so cute this is an amazing style to wear for the summertime you keep it cool and cute and there's a lot of different styles you can do with this so definitely check up blue hair I love their units they have some fabulous ones and I'll see you guys on the next time make sure you rate comment subscribe I love you and bye